Hello, this is Joseph Zoll. Cheating in elections. There's been a lot of talk about this over the last several years, a lot of accusations right up to this very day. So I felt it was important and appropriate to produce this video. In this video, I'll give you an analogy of a baseball game that I urge you to tell to anybody who is out there making the accusations. We'll have that for you in a moment. Brief commercial, as you see behind me, I do have some books for sale and the link to the source for the books and some free materials is in the description below, so please visit the description before you leave. End of commercial. In the 2020 election, there were accusations that went to court. Over 60 court cases dismissed for lack of evidence. Some people say the court should have still heard the case. I say, how? So I was at a DUI jury a few years ago. Imagine if the prosecutor had come in and said, we want you to convict this defendant of driving under the influence, but we have no proof, no evidence, and we want you to convict him anyway, please. That is not the way it works. Some people tried to make it work that way, but without evidence, there was no way to proceed. So, baseball game. A young baseball player, 10 years old, comes home from a baseball game, and the parents asked how it went. They usually tried to attend the games, but today they couldn't. And the player says, we lost five to nothing. They cheated. And the parents say, well, how did they cheat? Did they get five legitimate runs? And he says, oh, yes. Five times one of their players hit the ball right over the fence, a definite home run. Was the cheating about you getting zero for your team? And the player says, no, they had a very good pitcher. And every time one of our batters got up, he struck them out. Three times per inning, 27 times we were struck out. They were all legitimate strikeouts. The parents asked the obvious question. Then how were you cheated if their home runs were legitimate and your zero was legitimate? And the player says, I don't know, but they must have because we lost. We're the team that should have won. We're the best team around. We say so ourselves. And the only way we could have lost would have been if they cheated. So they must have cheated. This is a good time for the parents to do some reprogramming. That is not the way an adult should look at something. But we do have adults out there who do. If they accuse somebody of cheating with no evidence, they believe that people should go with their conclusion anyway, a conclusion with zero facts. Accusing somebody of anything without evidence, without proof, without facts is not the way a civilized society works. So we have some people who are out of step in our civilized society. Please tell them the story of the baseball game, and maybe that will get through. Thank you for joining me today.